All right, well, I share all my wins. I guess it's only fair if I share all my losses too. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I lost in Bitcoin, which like a lot of folks is uh, been a significant hit over the last few weeks compared to last year's gains. But more importantly, the lessons I've learned investing in Bitcoin, things like cryptocurrency. I think you're gonna really enjoy this video, some lessons that I'm taking away, how it's gonna impact me and affect me as an investor in 2022. Let's roll. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ellis Hammond, full-time real estate investor. However, I do like to dabble and I started investing in Bitcoin Thanksgiving of 2020, I think was the first time that I bought Bitcoin. So surprisingly enough, I started buying Bitcoin around the same price it is today in January of 2022. Uh, let's get into it. I wanna show you my portfolio even right now, kind of what it looks like today, what has happened to my portfolio, and then of course the lessons I've learned. So check this out. All right, in the spirit of transparency, here is essentially my crypto portfolio. I believe I was investing earlier than this, but this is kind of what it's been tracking. Essentially, the orange line, just so you have an idea, is my cost basis, and the blue line essentially is my gains and kind of where I sit today. This number up here, don't really pay attention to it because I have moved money in and out. What I want to show you is this, is that, you know, at the top of kind of the crypto market, which was on November 9th, 2021, just a few months ago, that my portfolio peaked at around $363,000. It's shown really, really good. Well, today we're at just over $257,000. So compared to my cost basis, we're about $12,000. So you can see my return up here was somewhere around $130,000. So that's a loss of more than six figures over a hundred grand. I want to share with you just a couple of lessons that I've learned kind of going through this. So let's talk about the lessons that I've learned in investing in this. Clearly not fun to lose or kind of see your portfolio go that much. It was a lot of fun to see a rise. And I think that's one of the biggest lessons that I've learned in this space. There's a couple of things I want to share. One is that anything that can make you money that fast, you also have to realize you can lose money that fast as well. That's why you know this is like a roller coaster ride. It's called a roller coaster. And if you can stomach it, there may be gains for you in the future. But if you can't, this is not an asset class that you want to be invested in. Again, I knew that, but I had never really been a part of something so volatile where I made so much and I lost so much so quickly. I'm really glad I learned that lesson. I went through it and not just read it. Because you can kind of get caught up, right, in this momentum of like, oh, this is this is growing, this is growing. And then to have the floor wipe from underneath. That was one lesson. I think lesson number two is I really didn't understand Bitcoin. In some ways, still don't, but I understand it a lot more now that I've kind of been through a couple cycles like this. You know, one of the things I didn't realize is just how much the market, the Bitcoin cycle can be affected by large investors, what they would call the whale, and you know, how much they manipulate this space. And I didn't really understand that early on. I saw Bitcoin as kind of another asset, a hedge against inflation, something similar to gold, but really it's not been like that at all. And so I think the big lesson here is investing in things you really understand or taking the time to understand them before you really dive in. I'm glad I invested in Bitcoin. I'm glad I had money and I did it for the learning experience. I do think though I got caught up in the momentum where I probably put more in than, than I wanted to or I didn't take my gains as early as I should have because I didn't understand it. And so I think that's a really important lesson if you're an early investor is it's helpful to have some money in asset classes maybe you're trying to do because you pay attention to what you have money in but before you really put you know, a bigger chunk of your portfolio into an asset, make sure you understand it, especially a volatile asset like cryptocurrency. And the last lesson, and maybe the most important lesson, and I've shared this and now I've experienced it, the ultimate wealth builder is predictability. It is really, really hard, if not impossible, to time the market, to know when you should get out of the very volatile stocks or cryptocurrencies and when to stay in because they move all over the place. What if I was later in my lifetime or career and needed to have access to that cash 
and now we're in a one or two or five year kind of bear market could be really really significant losses that i've experienced in my portfolio and a lot of people have found themselves in that same scenario and really not enough time to build up their cash or their investing again that's why it just helped me kind of form some a real thesis around predictability is still the ultimate wealth builder and that a majority of my portfolio i still want in predictable cash flowing appreciating assets like multifamily real estate and that yes it's fun to see kind of my net worth continue to tick up but really what's going to give me financial freedom allow me to live the life of my dreams spend more time with my family give back to my community is not a big net worth it's not a big tick number it's it's having cash flow predictable cash flow and having assets that i know are going to continue to appreciate over my lifetime and, and the compounding effect of that will create wealth for me and the generations after me and so i'm grateful for this chance you know i didn't have more into bitcoin or into cryptocurrency that i could afford to lose so even if i lost all of it it would really hurt but i don't feel uncomfortable with where i'm at and in fact i didn't sell anything and i've always had my number of where i'm going to be at and i'll hold that bitcoin there for a lot longer so these are lessons I've learned. I hope that this can help you as you are kind of going through the same investing journey and figuring out how do we really truly achieve financial freedom and build wealth together. Make sure that you think wealthy. This is why I share these tips and I want to be fully transparent with you because this is what it lo looks like to think wealthy. Not enough people are sharing, just kind of being vulnerable. Hey, here are my wins and here are my losses. And so and that's exactly what I wanted to do today. If you enjoyed this, Please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to help me grow this channel. I'm sharing great content with you and that's what I ask in return. Appreciate all your help. Think wealthy friends. Cheers.